Hey there, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that if you see anything in this video that you really like, you can go to MetallicaMom.com, Google it, type it in, whatever you need to do, and then once you get to MetallicaMom.com, if you don't see what you're looking for, all you have to do is hit that little button on the bottom right corner, and you can chat directly with me. Anything you type in there goes right to my cell phone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey. I'm enjoying a late morning... What time is it? 11 a.m. Late morning cup of coffee with my cup. Um... I think two days after mouse passed, I went to go grab a cup of coffee. And this cup used to say, I love my asshole cat. Well, I heart my asshole cat. And so I was very sad and I scratched off where it said cat under here. And then it said, I love my asshole, which I thought was very cute. But then I just took off the I love and it's just my asshole. <laughs> so I'm having coffee with half and half and just a little bit of the Dunkin' creamer, the one that's creamy vanilla. Mm. Literally just a splash of the sweet stuff because I don't really like my coffee very sweet at all. I do like my coffee this color. This is like the perfect cup of coffee for me. The same color as this damn box. Anyway, so if you've been buying Scentsy for any uh, length of time, you know that this kind of box is new. I'm on the, um, in the Northeast in New York, and I've only been getting like, I've only had like three of these boxes. I was getting the white boxes forever. This is actually from the inside. Look, <laughs> I was getting the white boxes forever. They stopped making the white boxes, I guess, because they were a little bit more expensive. And these seem to be not as sturdy, but I don't care. There are people in groups on Facebook that just bitch about everything. If whoever is watching this video, if you are a sensei consultant and if you are director and above, you know the absolute toxicity wasteland that is the official Sensi director group on Facebook. Oh my God, you can't even go in there. Everybody is just bitching and bitching and complaining and complaining. I don't even understand why these people are Sensi consultants because they have a problem with everything. Every decision that Sensi makes, they have a problem with it. And there are people in that group that I can tell you right now, if they took the time that they're in that group trolling and looking for unhappiness if they took every minute of their time left that group and then went and sold some fucking wax they'd be more uh successful i only go into that group to um see when there's like updates and stuff like that but jesus christ people are just terrible anyway here's an unboxing haven't done one of these in a while uh, yeah, this is everything that I thought, and I actually wrote down the set notes and how much I paid for everything and all that. So I think I wrote down how much I paid. Okay, so I closed out a party, and I gifted one of my very good customers. Hi, Celeste. How are you? I gifted one of my very good customers the perpetual party reward. So it was the half off. So she got a half off. She still had to pay tax, and she still had to pay shipping, but she got a $60 warmer for 30 bucks. So she was very, very happy about that. She's one of my best customers. I actually inherited her from a consultant that used to be in my downline who then had a stroke and she had to quit. It was tragic. It was very sad. Anyway, so I ended up getting a lot of the host rewards because I needed some stuff. And then I gave her the perpetual half off. So I got cotton cleanups for free. These are normally $10. These are priceless. You know, when they first came out with the cotton cleanups, a lot of us were just like, fuck that. We're just going to use our cotton balls or, the, you know, the dump method which is basically you just heat the wax up and then dump it in the garbage i actually i don't dump it in the garbage i have a coffee can um and then some people like put it in the freezer and chip it out that way i've never done that i don't i don't whatever whatever i love these absolutely love them cotton balls don't replace these i mean technically technically they do technically they do anyway um so anyway those are normally ten dollars it used to be six. Uh, but now I got, I got them for free. And I got this from the clearance section. This, I had I, I did pay full price for this only because, well, not really full price. I got it for the clearance section price because I couldn't pass it up. Even though I was closing a party and I was just using out the hostess rewards. Host rewards? We don't want to be sexist. Um, I had to get this because it was only $21 instead of $30. Palm Beach Breeze is Flamingo Peach struts over lush palm greens and a hint of salty ocean musk. Palm Beach Breeze is very nice. I liked it in the wax. I like it in the laundry line. Um, and I'm not going to open it because I know exactly what it smells like. And I still have, I have two tubs of washer whiffs right now, 
one is going and one is unopened, so I'm just going to leave that one sealed. Um, so anyway, couldn't pass up $21, $9 uh, savings. This is at the tail end of my packing slip. This is, um, or uh, of my receipt. This is a Clean Breeze scent pack. I only got it for $3.60 instead of the full seven, okay? Because I was just using up, I'm finishing up those host rewards. Clean Breeze is really nice. If you're familiar with Scentsy Clean in the laundry, Clean Breeze is the same exact fragrance. They weren't allowed to call any laundry products Clean Breeze because there is a company, I think it's Tide or Gain or something like that, that uses the term Clean Breeze in their laundry product, and they coined that phrase. So Scentsy had to change the name to Scentsy Fresh only with the laundry. But it really is just Clean Breeze, which is white florals and a touch of spring, sorry, white florals with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. Clean Breeze is one of the strongest waxes that you will ever warm, in my opinion. It's up there with clothesline. Okay, oh, oh my God, I was waiting for this. <sighs> okay, this debuted a month and a half ago and I just never got around to putting it in my order. I kept on forgetting to put it in my order. I have been waiting for this since they announced it. Just Breathe Body Cream. You guys know how I love the body cream. Uh, the last time it was in the clearance section, I got three or four of the It's Love body creams, and I actually used that in my massage practice. I used that on people's feet and on their neck, and they love it, okay? I always have these, the um, ingredient description for the client who has allergies and stuff like that. Don't worry. But I do use it on a professional basis, on the It's Love stuff, because the It's Love is so, it, it smells like strawberry lemonade. Love it. But anyway. Just Breathe is described as breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints comfort and rejuvenate. So it's basically mint and peppermint and eucalyptus. It is fit. That was my, my ice cubes just dropped like my testicles. This is fantastic in the wax. I've never tried the body cream. I can't wait. This is normally $13. I think this was my half. I think this was my half off. I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay, and then I got just a handful of wax. Uh, this I actually paid full price because this is going to a local customer. I'm going to be charging her for full price um, because I just really didn't need a three pack. I didn't need a six pack. So I did end up paying $6 for this bar of wax. This is fantastic because I have, I have more of these coming in a, in a different order. Strawberry lemon cake is amazing. I just talked about it in my unbox, in my empties. Uh, fresh strawberries, uh, lemon zest, and buttercream. <sighs> Oh, I'm not going to touch the wax because it's for Maribel. She's, she's local to me. But anyway, so there's that. And then I also got one bar. I'm really, I'm trying not to overbuy wax, okay? If I like it, I'll put it in my club or I'll buy more. I'm, I'm making orders every week. Anyway, chamomile petals is the scent of the month right now, this month, April 2023. I can't believe it's 2023. <sighs> chamomile petals is described as... Let a medley of chamomile petals, jasmine, and apple transport you to a refreshing sunny afternoon. So this is going to be the first time I smell this. Instead of it being $6 this month, it's $5.40 because it's 10% off. Chamomile petals. Let's go. I smell a lot more of the chamomile than the jasmine, but let's really smell the underside because that's really, that's where you get the, the meat of it, right? Okay, I smell the apple. I'm not smelling the jasmine so much. Am I smelling jasmine? Maybe the slightest bit, just to make it sweet. It smells very light. It's 65 degrees here, so even though this box was just delivered to me like 15 minutes ago, it's not cold in any way. You never know, though. This shit changes when you warm it. You can't make a judgment call. A lot of times you can, but you really shouldn't make true judgment calls from just smelling it in the clamshell. You gotta warm it. And last two, we've got the Father's Day collection. Now I got these for $11. No, I didn't get two sets because again, I have time to put another set into my Scentsy Club or whatever. I'm not gonna overbuy wax. I refuse to overbuy wax. Anyway, this is early uh, access for Scentsy Consultants. We got two for $11. If you look at the website right now, they are $6 a piece. I don't know if they're going to be two for 11 when they get released to the public. I, I don't I don't know. Whatever. Um, these are look like very masculine fragrances. I love the colors. This almost looks like ocean. And this looks like Palm Beach Bees. So there you go. Uh, let's smell this one first. Desert Rock and Citron. 
It is described as fresh water accented with lemon and mint leaf splashes. That, that screams masculine. And it smells very masculine, but juice. I like this. I love that color. I used to have nail polish that color. Damn. Okay, this is very masculine, but I like it. I don't usually go for the masculine stuff. This smells very, very nice. Lemon and mint and fresh water. Yep, it's those things. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm, I just filled all my warmers because I wasn't expecting this box today. I wasn't tracking it like that. So I'll probably be warming that tomorrow. And High Mountain Lake is described as a grove of sandalwood. I love sandalwood. A grove of sandalwood, violet leaf, and Virginia cedar shades deep notes of amber. I might like this one better than the Desert Rock and Citron. Um, okay, it's really, uh, it, it was really light on the underside of the package. And it's light on the, I mean, it was light on the over this part, and it's still light here. But I like the fragrance itself. It just smells really light. Now, this smells stronger, and it seems shinier to me. Like it has more oils in it or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This one has all those bubbles in the side, and this one doesn't have any bubbles. I don't know. I, I, I've been to Scentsy Commons where they make the wax, and, but it was a long time ago. It was 2017. I don't remember uh, anything. How they, like, you know, what, what, what... What dictates if something is strong or not, I don't remember. I know that they use paraffin wax because paraffin holds more scented oils than soy does. Also, people aren't allergic to paraffin, but they are allergic to soy anyway. This smells very nice, but it smells super light. I don't know what it's going to be like, um, you know, once I warm it. I think I'm going to warm this one first. And I think I'm going to warm this one in my bedroom. Even though this is, doesn't really seem like a bedroom. Well, sandalwood and amber. Yeah. I, yeah, I think we'll do this in my bedroom tomorrow. Okay. So if you have warmed these, let me know what you think. I'm excited. These three are new to me. This is new to me. This is for a customer. This is for my waste paper baskets. Because I have a waste paper basket in every room in my house. And I have uh, scent packs in the bottom of the waste basket. And then I have a roll of waste paper basket liners in, in the bottom of each thing right next to the scent pack and it makes all the waste paper basket liners smell good. That's how I use those. I got these for free and I got wash away for 21 bucks. There's my unboxing. Talk to you later. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. MetallicMom.com. Bye.